Hello, amazing human beings. I'm so excited to be here with you. It's a new year. We're coming together after a bit of a short break. And I decided, what is today's topic going to be? I originally thought of like New Year's resolutions, right? Where you write down a list of things of how you want this new year to look, or maybe like one word. And I got that from Vilas once where she spoke about just one word, one word that can carry you through the whole year. And that's who you really want to become is that one word. And then I thought, you know what? I think what I want to really speak about is thankfulness. And I actually wore my shirt that said thankful on there. Um, because I want us to, even though it's been quite a different year, right? 2020 has been unlike any other year for us. We were in the middle of a pandemic. We're learning virtually from home. So everything looks so different. But we push through that. We've been talking about perseverance and grit and really kind of just pushing through. And we've been able to do that. And 2020 has been a year for some people of growth, for some people of sadness. There might have been some sad things that happened in your life. It's really just, just been a whole lot of things for people. So what I thought I would focus on is a book that I read to you before. It's called The Spot of Thankfulness. We're going to read part of it, and then I'm going to fast forward and read the last part of it for you. But I thought maybe just focusing on maybe thankfulness. What are we thankful for, right? Like I know I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for Ethan and my husband and my mom and dad and, and thankful for time that I got to spend with people that might've passed away. But I, got, I know I'm thankful for the time that I got to spend with them. Um, thankful for my health, thankful for my friends and my family. So there's different things that we can all be thankful for, even thankful for small things like a bed to sleep in, thankful for food on my plate, like food to eat. So there's a lot of things we can be thankful for. So I'm going to play that for you now. Share screen. And it's called um, A Little Thankful Spot. I'm going to read it to you. So let me mute this this large and we're ready to go. A little thankful spot. Hi, my name is Spot and I'm not just an ordinary spot. I'm a little thankful spot. Did you know that writing down all the things that you are thankful for can actually make you happier? We have been making this thankful list for a while now. Wow. That's a long list. So I encourage you to kind of write down the things you're thankful for, even if, it's there, even if they're small things. When you're thankful, you're happy with what you have and experiences you don't compare yourself to others. When you write down all that you're thankful for, it helps you focus on the positive things in your life. I'm going to share my list and maybe it will inspire you to create your own list. So here it goes. I am thankful for playing in the park and sliding down the slide. Nature and the cool shade of a tree. Nature lets a lot of people be at peace or calm. Cozy slippers, hats to keep my head warm, sandals to keep my feet cool, rain boots so I can splash in puddles, umbrellas so I can enjoy the rain without getting wet, Snowmen in winter, flowers in spring. So those are all small things, but they're really things that we can be thankful for. Just being thankful for the small things is really important. The nice warm sun, yummy ice pops and ice cream, the refreshing pool on a hot summer day. A, a pool on a hot summer day really is awesome. Being able to show sadness so people know when to help. Having confidence to try new things. Feeling angry so I can become passionate about a cause or stand up for what's right. Feeling anxiety to warn me if I'm about to do something dangerous. These are really important ones. Like sadness is something that we are all going to feel, right? Because there's going to be times in our life where something happens that makes us sad. And that's okay. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to say, I feel sad. But it's also really, really important that you ask someone to help you with that sadness if you're not able to come out of sadness. Because sometimes we, we, it's okay to be sad, but we need to know that we also need to be able to come out of that sadness. If you ever find yourself stuck in sadness, it's okay to ask someone for help. You can ask me or a teacher or your mommy. Just go to someone to help you. 
Um, having confidence to try new things is so important. That's such a big one. We want to make sure we have that confidence to try new things and it's okay to fail. The failure comes in not trying. Make sure you always try new things. Feeling angry so I can become passionate about a cause or stand up for what's right. That really is true. Sometimes there's things we see out there that are not right and we know they're not right. So knowing inside of your heart saying, you know what? It's not right and I'm gonna fight for that cause is really important as well. And feeling anxiety to warn me if I'm about to do something dangerous, really important. There's something called fight or flight where it says sometimes when you feel like you're in a dangerous situation, you either run or you freeze, right? Um, or you kind of fight it. So fight, fly, or freeze actually. So a lot of times our body gives us warning signs of, wait a minute, something doesn't feel right. And a lot of times we need to make sure we listen to that, to that feeling. All really important. Being able to love and being able to find my peaceful spot. Amazing. I love those. Especially being able to love, right? I'm going to fast forward a little bit and then we're going to come right into fast forward a tiny bit more. There we go. Phew. Are you inspired yet? Now it's your turn. Your turn. What are you thankful for? Do you think you can write something you are thankful for every day and make a bigger list than me? So I definitely want to encourage us, I'm going to pause this really quickly, to write down things we are thankful for. Like, it's important to do New Year's resolutions. It's also important to be present and make sure that you are thankful even for the little things in your life or the big things. Have a super amazing day.